In this video, you'll learn about drilling machine and how does it work. Its parts. Operations. Tools. And types of drilling machine. The drilling machine is defined as a machine which is used to make a circular hole. A tool called drill bit is used to drill the holes of different size and other related operations. The drilling machine is second most important machines in a workshop after the lathe machines. Holes were drilled by the Egyptians in 1200 BC about 3000 years ago by bow drills. The bow drill is the mother of present day metal cutting drilling machine. In drilling machine holes may be drilled quickly and at low cost. The hole is generated by the rotating edge of a cutting tool known as the drill. It applies a large force on the work mounted on the table. As the machine uses vertical pressure to originate a hole it is loosely called a drill press. Parts of drilling machine. The main parts of drilling machine are base, column, table, table clamp, electric motor, hand wheel, chuck, and drill. Base is a part of the machine on which the vertical column is mounted. The base is made of casting and it supports the column and work table with other attachments. The top of the base is round column section type where the large workpieces and work holding devices may be set up and bolted on it. The base of the machine may be mounted on a bench or on the floor. The column is the vertical member of the machine which supports the table and the head containing all the driving mechanism. It is a cylindrical casting that mounted vertically at one end of the base and supports the radial arm, which slides up and down. The table is mounted on the column and is provided with T-slots for clamping the work directly on its face. The table is round or rectangular in shape. Radial arm is mounted on the column and extends horizontally over the base. It has guideways on which drill head slides. The radial arm moves around the column. Drill head is mounted on the radial arm and drives the drill spindle. In some of the drill machines, the drill head may be adjusted up or down for accommodating different heights of the work in addition to the table adjustment. In lighter machines, the driving motor is mounted at the rear end of the head. For counterbalancing the weight of the drill spindle. Types of drilling machine. There are the eight different types of drilling machine were used, which are portable drilling machine, sensitive drilling machine, upright drilling machine, radial drilling machine, gang drilling machine, multiple spindle machine, automatic drilling machine, and deep hole drilling machine. Portable drilling machine. These types of a drilling machine are commonly used in all the workshops to drill small sized holes. It is operated by holding in a hand. The workpiece where the hole is to be drilled is held in a vise. Sensitive drilling machine. This types of drilling machine used to drill small holes at high speeds in lighter jobs. The machine may be mounted on the floor and the drilling work is started with the drill fed into the workpiece by hand control. Hand feed permits the operator to sense the progress of the drill into the workpiece, so that if there is any drill worn out or jams it may be released immediately to prevent the drill bit from breaking. Since the operator senses the cutting action at any instant it is called as the sensitive drilling machine. These machines are capable of drilling small holes of diameter up to 0.35 mm to 15 mm. Upright drilling machine. Upright is larger in size and stronger than sensitive drilling machine. It is used for drilling medium and large sized holes. Based on the type of column used it is classified as a round column and box column upright drilling machines. 
Radial Drilling Machine The radial drilling machine is shown in the figure. It consists of the base, column, radial arm, drill head, spindle speed, and feed mechanism. Gang Drilling Machine this machine consists of the number of drill heads placed side by side. To drill more than one hole of same or different sizes at a time on the same or different jobs. The space between drill spindles is varied to suit the gap between the holes. This type of machine tool is used to drill a large number of holes in the same job at a faster rate. Multi-spindle drilling machine. Multi-spindle is used to drill the number of hole in the same workpiece simultaneously and to reproduce the same work in a number of similar jobs. All the spindle are driven by a single motor and fed continuously. During the feeding table with the workpiece is raised or lowered and the drill head position is not varied. Automatic drilling machine. This types of drilling machine can perform a series of machining operations at successive units and transfer the work from one unit to the other automatically. Once the work is loaded at the first machine, the work will move from one machine to the other where different operations can be performed, and the finished work comes out from the last unit without any manual handling. Deep Hole Drilling Machine This may be the either horizontal or vertical type of machine. In this drilling machine, the part to be drilled is rotated and the drill bit that makes the hole is kept stationary. Deep hole drilling is done in components like rifle barrels, crankshafts, and long shafts etc. Drilling machine tools. A drill is a fluted cutting tool used to originate it or enlarge a hole in a solid material. Drills are manufactured in a wide variety of types and sizes. The different types of tools used in drilling machine are flat or spade drill tool straight footed drill tool two lip twist drill tool in two lip drill there are four types available parallel shank short series or jobbers twist drill a parallel shank stub series twist drill parallel shank long series twist drill a parallel shank twist drill Taper shank core drill, three or four fluted. Oil tube drill. Center drill. Flat or spade drill tool. A flat drill is sometimes used when the same size twist drill is not available. It is usually made from a piece of round tool steel which is forged to shape and ground to size. The cutting angle varies from 90 to 120 and the relief or clearance at the cutting edge is 3 to 8. The disadvantage of this type of drill is that each time the drill is ground the diameter is reduced. Straight footed drill. A straight footed drill has grooves or flutes running parallel to the drill axis. A straight footed drill may be considered as a cutting tool having zero rakes. This type of drill is inconvenient in standard practice as the chips do not come out from the hole automatically. It is mainly used in drilling brass, copper or other softer materials. Twist drill. It is the most common used type of drill and was originally manufactured by twisting a flat piece of tool steel. The present day twist drills are made by machining two spiral flutes or grooves that run lengthwise around the body of the drill. Taper shank core drill. These drills are intended for enlarging cord, punched, or drilled holes. These drills cannot originate a hole in a solid material because the cutting edges do not extend to the center of the drill. The metal is removed by a chamfered edge at the end of each flute. Cord drills produce better finished holes than those cut by ordinary two-fluted drills. Center drill. The center drills are a straight shank. Two fluted twist drills used when center holes are drilled on the ends of a shaft. They are made in finer sizes. Drilling machine operations. The different operations performed on the drilling machine are. Drilling. Reaming. 
Warring. Counterbring. Countersinking. Spot facing. Tapping. Lapping. Grinding. And trepanning operation. Drilling operation. Drilling is the operation of producing a cylindrical hole by removing metal from the rotating edge of a cutting tool called the drill. The drilling is one of the simplest methods of producing a hole. The center of the hole is located on the workpiece by drawing two lines. And then the drill point is pressed at this center point to produce the required hole. The internal surface of the hole generated by drilling becomes rough, and the hole is always slightly oversized due to the vibration of the spindle and the drill. Reaming operation. Reaming is an accurate way of sizing and finishing a hole which has been previously drilled. In order to finish a hole and to bring it to the accurate size, the hole is drilled slightly under size. The speed of the spindle is made half that of drilling and automatic feed may be employed. The tool used for reaming is known as reamer which has multiple cutting edges. Boring operation. In boring operation, the cutter is held in a boring bar which has a tapered shank to fit into the spindle socket. For perfect finishing a hole, the job is drilled slightly under size. Boring is performed to enlarge a hole by means of an adjustable cutting tool with only one cutting edge. Used to finish a hole accurately and to bring it to the required size. To machine the internal surface of a hole already produced in casting. Used to correct out of roundness of the hole. To correct the location of the hole as the boring tool follows an independent path with respect to the hole. Counterbring operation. Counterbring is the operation of enlarging the end of a hole cylindrically. The enlarged hole forms a square shoulder with the original hole. This is necessary in some cases to accommodate the heads of bolts, studs and pins. The tool used for counterbring is called a counterbore. The counterbores are made with a straight or tapered shank to fit in the drill spindle. The cutting edges may have straight or spiral teeth. Countersinking operation. Countersinking is the operation of making a cone-shaped enlargement of the end of a hole. To provide a recess for a flat head screw or countersunk rivet fitted into the hole. The tool used for countersinking is called a countersink. Spot facing operation. Spot facing is the operation of smoothing and squaring the surface around a hole. For the seat for a nut or the head of a screw. A counterbore or a special spot facing tool may be employed for this purpose. Tapping operation. It is the operation of cutting internal threads by means of a cutting tool called a tap. Tapping in a drilling machine may be performed by hand or by machine. A tap may be considered as a bolt with accurate threads cut on it. The threads act as cutting edges which are hardened and ground. Lapping operation. Lapping is the operation of sizing and finishing a small diameter hole. That already hardened by removing a very small amount of material by using a lap. There are many kinds of lapping tools. The copper head laps are commonly used. The lap fits in the hole and is moved up and down while it revolves. Trepanning operation. Trepanning is the operation of producing a hole by removing metal along the circumference of a hollow cutting tool. This operation is performed for producing large holes. Fewer chips are removed and much of the material is saved while the hole is produced. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll like this video. Share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engineering content.